Hey y'all, Chief Dad here. This is my guide for Stardew Valley's full shipment. Let's get it. There are a total of 145 items to ship and everything that has introduced from 1.5 onward I will leave for the very end. So that means bananas and the last several items will be all covered in the same go. The first four items are all foraged in the spring and they give you seven experience each. You can pick up the wild horseradish, the daffodil, the leek, and the dandelion all in spring. Just pick them up off the ground. Parsnips are bought and harvested in the spring. They take four days to grow, cost 20 gold, and give you eight farming experience. Cave carrots are found in the mines from levels 10 to 20 by digging up soil or you can smash these crates on any floor to find them. For both cactus fruit and coconuts you need to finish the vault in the community center to unlock the bus and then you can pick them up off the ground like any other forageable. Sap is found every time you chop down a tree and you can also place a tapper on mahogany trees to get sap every day. For each of the eggs, both large and small, you need to get a coop and you need to get at least two chickens, one of each color. So it's going to cost you at least 5,600 gold. And then once the chickens reach one heart of friendship, they will start producing the large eggs. So you'll have both, or I guess all four. For the small and large milk, you need to buy the barn and the cow, which is going to cost you a total of 7,500 gold. And then again, after they reach one heart, they will produce large milk and you'll get both. Green beans are bought and harvested in the spring. They cost 30 gold, take 10 days to grow, and they give you 9 farming experience. Cauliflower are grown and harvested in the spring. They cost 40 gold, take 12 days to grow, and they give you 23 farming experience. Potatoes are grown and harvested in the spring. They cost 25 gold, take 6 days to grow, and they give you 14 farming experience. Garlic is only available from year 2 onward. It costs 20 gold, takes 4 days to grow, and it gives you 12 farming experience. Kale is grown and harvested in the spring. It costs 20, 35 gold, takes 6 days, and gives you 17 farming experience. Rhubarb is bought from the Oasis for 50 gold. It takes 13 days to grow, and it gives you uh, 26 farming experience. Melons are grown and harvested in the summer. They cost 40 gold, take 12 days to grow, and they give you 27 farming experience. Tomatoes are grown and harvested in the summer. They cost 25 gold, take 11 days, and they give you 12 farming experience. Every mushroom can be found in the mushroom cave. When you get 25,000 gold income, uh, Demetrius will come to your farm and offer to build either a mushroom cave or a fruit bat cave. If you choose the mushroom cave, then you can pick up each of these mushrooms here. Um, you can also find the morel via foraging in the secret woods in the spring. So you have to have the silver axe and chop down that log in front of the secret woods. Blueberries are grown and harvested in the summer. They cost 40 gold, take 13 days to grow, and they give you 10 farming experience every time. Fiddlehead ferns are foraged in the secret woods, and they can also be bought occasionally from the traveling cart for 270 to 1,000 gold. Hot peppers are grown and harvested in the summer. They cost 20 gold, take 5 days, and they give you 9 farming experience. Wheat is grown and harvested in the summer and the fall. It costs 5 gold, or sorry, it costs 10 gold. It takes four days to grow and it gives you six farming experience and it also gives you uh, hay as a byproduct. Radishes are grown and harvested in the summer. They cost 40 gold, take six days to grow and give you 15 farming experience. Radishes are grown in the summer and they are only available in year two. They cost 100 gold, take nine days to grow and they give you 28 farming experience. Star fruit are grown and harvested in the summer. They take uh, 400 gold from the Oasis or anywhere between 600 and 1,000 from the traveling cart. They take 13 days to grow and they give you uh, 43 farming experience and they are also the second highest selling single crop. Corn is grown and harvested in the summer and the fall. It costs 150 gold. It takes 14 days to grow and gives you 10 farming experience. Rice is grown in the spring. It costs 40 gold, takes 8 days to grow and it gives you 7 farming experience. Eggplant is grown and harvested in the fall. It costs 20 gold, takes 5 days, and it gives you 12 farming experience. Artichoke is grown and harvested in the fall. After year 2, it costs 30 gold, takes 8 days to grow, and gives 22 experience. Pumpkins are grown and harvested in the fall. They cost 100 gold, take 13 days to grow, and they give you 31 farming experience. Bok choy are grown and harvested in the fall. They cost 50 gold, take 4 days to grow, and they give you 14 farming experience. Yams are grown and harvested in the fall. They cost 60 gold, they take 10 days to grow, and they give you 22 farming experience. Shintaro mushrooms, as previously stated, grow in the mushroom cave, but they are also forageable in the secret woods in the fall. 
Cranberries are grown and harvested in the fall. They cost 240 gold, take seven days to grow, and they give you 14 farming experience. Holly is a winter forageable found everywhere during the winter, including the secret woods. Beets are grown and harvested in the fall. They cost 20 gold, they take six days to grow, and they give you 16 farming experience. Salmon berries are foraged from these bushes during the spring, only from the 15th to the 18th. Amaranth is grown and harvested in the fall. It costs 70 gold, takes 7 days to grow, and it gives you 21 farming experience. Pale ale is produced by putting hops in a keg, and they take 1 to 2 days to finish. Hops are grown and harvested in the summer. They cost 60 gold, take 11 days to grow, and you get 6 farming experience. For void eggs, you need to donate 60 items to the museum, and then you'll get access to the sewers where you can buy them from Krobus. For all three of the mayonnaises, you need to get a chicken, a duck, and a void chicken. Have them lay an egg and then put that into a mayonnaise machine, and in about a day it will make mayonnaise. Clay is found anywhere you can hoe up dirt. Just get your hoe out and start whacking and you'll find tons of clay. Each of the metal bars are made by putting five ore and one coal in a furnace, and in time you will get a bar. Refined quartz is made the same way as any other bar, just one quartz and a coal and you're good to go. For honey, place down a bee house in any season but winter and you will get honey every four days. For both pickles and jam, you have to put a vegetable in to get pickles into a preserves jar and you put a fruit into a preserves jar to get jelly. And that's all. It takes about two or three days. If you put wheat into a keg, you will get beer in about two days, but I also got lucky and got mine from Pam. For wine, put any fruit into a keg, and it will take a full week, but it will eventually produce wine. For any juice, put any vegetable into a keg, and it will take about four days for it to turn into juice. Plants can be forged from the beach during any season, you can also get them using crab pots in any season. Poppies are grown and harvested in the summer. They cost 50 gold, take 7 days to grow, and they give you 20 farming experience. Each of the next 4 items can be found in the mines. Copper is found below level 40, iron is found between 40 and 80, and gold is found after level 80, and coal is found randomly in rocks on every level, and they can also be dropped from these dust sprouts enemies. Iridium can only be found in the skeleton mines, or the skeleton caves. Wood and stone are found all over the world, including your farm and the mines, and you start with the tools to get them, so no big deal. Nautilus shells are foraged from the beach only in winter. Coral is found only on the eastern side of the beach, so you have to build this bridge, which costs 300 wood, and then they're found here year-round. Rainbow shells are forged from the beach only during the summer. Spice berries are foraged from around the world during the summer. Sea urchins are forged from the eastern side of the beach year round just like coral. Grapes are foraged in the summer and they can also be grown during the summer and the fall. Spring onions are forged in the summer, but only in the southeastern island of Cindersap Forest, right above the sewer entrance. Strawberries are grown and harvested in the spring. They can only be bought at the Egg Festival for 100 gold. They take 8 days to grow, and they give you 18 experience. Sweet peas are forged during the summer. Common mushrooms can be forged during the fall anywhere, and they can also be found in the secret woods during spring and fall. All three of these next ones can be foraged in the fall anywhere in the world. You can find the wild plum, the hazelnut, and the blackberry just on the ground. The winter root can be tilled up from any soil during the winter and it can also be dropped from the ice slimes in the ice caves. Crystal fruit can be forged normally during the winter, and you can also kill dust sprites on the ice floors of the mines, and they will randomly drop them. 
Snow yams can only be found by tilling up soil or artifact spots during the winter. Sweet gemberries can be bought from the traveling cart during spring and summer for a thousand gold. They take 24 days to grow and give you 64 experience. The crocus is the only one that can only be found normally foraging in the winter. Red mushrooms can be forged from the secret woods during the spring and rarely during the fall. They can also be found on rare mushroom floors in the mines. Sunflowers can be grown and harvested in the summer and the fall. They cost 200 gold, they take 8 days to grow, and they give you 14 farming experience. Purple mushrooms can be found most commonly after level 81 in the mines. They can just be forged from off the floor. For both cheeses, you need to have a cow and a goat that can produce milk. From either one of those, you put the cheese in a cheese press and it will turn into cheese and goat cheese. For cloth, you put wool on a loom. It takes four hours to turn into cloth and there you go. For truffles, you have to have the deluxe barn and a pig that has grown to maturity and will produce at least one truffle every day that it is not uh, the season of winter. Place a truffle in the oil maker and in six hours you will have truffle oil. Coffee beans are dropped by dust sprites in the ice floors of the caves rarely, or you can buy them for 100 to 2500 gold from the traveling cart. For both of the goat milks, you need to have the big barn and a goat, and after it reaches maturity, it will produce large goat milk. For wool, you either need to have the big barn or the deluxe coop. For the big barn, you'll get the sheep, and a deluxe coop, you'll get a rabbit, and they both produce wool. For both the duck egg and the duck feather, you need to have the big coop and a duck. It will produce um, eggs every other day, and it will produce a feather randomly based on luck. For caviar, you need to have a fish pond with sturgeon in it. It will eventually drop sturgeon row. You put that in a preserve jar, and it will produce caviar. For the rabbit's foot, you need to have a deluxe coop and a rabbit, and it is a random drop based on look. It can also be dropped from the serpents in the skull cavern. I'll put the row and the aged row together. You can put any fish in the fish pond that is not a sturgeon. It will produce row, and then if you put that in a preserve jar, it will produce aged row. Ancient fruit is found by finding an ancient seed. It comes in a bunch of different random ways. You need to donate that ancient seed to the museum to get the recipe to make an ancient seed. It's a big thing. And then you plant that in any season except winter. It will take a full month to grow. And when you finally do pick it up, it will give you 38 farming experience. Mead is produced by putting honey in a keg and waiting for 10 hours. Tulips are grown and harvested in the spring. They cost 20 gold, take 6 days to grow, and they give you 7 farming experience. The summer spangle is grown in the summer, obviously. It costs 50 gold, takes 8 days to grow, and it gives you 15 farming experience. The fairy rose is grown and harvested in the fall, costs 200 gold, takes 12 days to grow, and it gives you 29 farming experience. Blue jazz are grown and harvested in the spring. They cost 30 gold, take a full week to grow, and they give you 10 farming experience. I'm going to go ahead and lump all these fruit together. If you buy one of each seed from Pierre, it's going to cost you 25,400 gold. They took a full month to grow, and if out in the wild, they produce fruit during their own season, which is labeled on the seeds. Or if you put it in the greenhouse, it'll produce a one fruit a day all year long. After you witness Carolyn's Too Hard event in the greenhouse of Pierre's shop, you'll have access to that room with a tea sapling. It's going to drop a tea leaf every day at the last week of every season. Place that tea leaf into a keg, and you will get green tea. Bug meat can be found by killing bugs on pretty much any floor of the mines. For hardwood, you need five silver uh, bars to make a silver axe, and you can chop up any logs or stumps that you find on your farm or in the world. For maple syrup, uh, oak resin, and pine tar, you need to plant their respective trees, place a tapper on them, and they will produce these things regularly. Slime is found, obviously, by killing slime. You can do that in the mines, and you can do that in the secret woods. Bat wings are found by killing bats in the mines, and if you pick a monster farm, they will occasionally spawn there as well. Solar essence is found by killing the ghost enemies on the ice floors of the mines. And void essence is found by killing the shadow brutes and shamans on the uh, last leg of the mines. Fiber is found all over the place. Anytime you chop up grass, you have a chance to find fiber everywhere. 
Battery packs are produced by placing a lightning rod outside during the summer. There will be thunderstorms and they will produce battery packs the next day. Dinosaur mayonnaise is made like any other mayonnaise but with a dinosaur egg. You need to kill these pepper eggs enemies in these skeleton mines to drop one or dig them up from the mountains and artifact spots. Squid ink is found by killing squid kids in the lower levels of the mine or you can put squid and midnight squid in the fish pond and they will randomly produce squid ink. The last 10 items on the list, one of which we skipped earlier, are going to be found in the 1.5 update. So we're going to need to finish the community center and then we will have access to Ginger Island. Once you have completed the community center and you've watched the cutscene the next day, the next day after that you will get some mail from Willie asking you to come to the shop and he will give you access to the boat in the back. You need to have 200 hardwood, 5 battery packs, and 5 iridium to fix the boat. And then the day after you put all the things in, you're going to fix the boat and have access to Ginger Island. Once you get to Ginger Island, the goal is to meet Leo. He is the only NPC on the island. And then you will get access to the volcano. And that's going to be uh, one of two major places we need to go. On the way to the volcano, if you look to the left of the tent that has nobody in it right now, you will see a parrot uh, stoop. You can give 10 golden walnuts to that and it will unlock an area where you can break the bone nodes to get bone shards which can also be found off of skeletons in the mines. And you can also find ginger here that you have to use a hoe to get up and it's also found pretty much everywhere on the island. Once you get into the volcano you will see it's very similar to the mines or the skull mines. Um, but with a few added enemies and a different kind of ore that you can grab. It's got crystals sticking out of it. If you break one of those, you will get some cinder shards. Also in the volcano, there is a random chance on every floor to find magma caps. And there's also a random chance to find a magma cap floor, which has real and fake magma caps. The fake ones are actually enemies. Once you've got the magma caps and the crystal shards, you're going to head back to the beach with your 10 golden walnuts that you'll need to feed the parrot to open up the farm where you can build the farmhouse for 20 more golden walnuts. With the farmhouse built, if you go to the far west side of the island, you will find a door that is locked. It says you need to get 100 golden walnuts. Go ahead and find those 100 golden walnuts and I'll post a link to the page that tells you how to get all of them. It's a very long thing. Once you get all 100, they're actually 134, you will have access to Mr. Key's room on Ginger Island. Mr. Key's room is similar to the uh, bounty board in Stardew Valley, except it has uh, harder quests. The quest you're going to be looking for is called Danger in the Deep, and it's going to make the mines in Stardew Valley uh, more difficult, and it's going to introduce a new resource that you need. Once you've activated that quest, you're going to head back to the mines in Stardew Valley, and you're going to be looking for a new node similar to the copper, silver, and gold except it's going to be green and kind of glowing. That is going to give you radioactive ore. And if you get five of those and put them in the furnace, it'll give you a radioactive bar. Once you have your radioactive ore and bar, you can head back to your ginger island, head towards the volcano, and you'll see a parrot asking for 10 golden walnuts. Hand those over, and it will introduce you to the island trader, who we're going to use to buy the last four crops that we need. The island trader asks for things that are specific to ginger island. So in order to buy the taro tuber, which we need to grow a taro root, it's going to cost you two bone fragments. It will take 10 days to grow and it will give you fire farming experience when you pick it up. For the pineapple, you need to give the island trader one magma cap. It will take 14 days to grow and it will give you 30 farming experience. For the mango, you need to give 75 mussels to the island trader and you can find mussels um, every day at the beach near the farm. Uh, the mango tree will take a full month to grow like any other tree and then it produces fruit every day year round on Ginger Island. For the banana, you need to give five dragon teeth to the island trader, and it will take a full month to grow, and it will produce every day just like the mango tree. The final thing that we need is the ostrich egg. You should have noticed by doing things around Ginger Island that you get scraps of paper. When you get scrap of paper number 10, you're going to head up to the northern part of the island near the volcano. You're going to dig underneath the tree that's hanging off the edge, and it's going to give you an ostrich egg. You can grow an ostrich in your deluxe coop if you want to, or you can just trade in that egg and you can be done.